Cooper. Um, I'm a business major. I'm from Houston, Texas. Welcome, Nathan. And this is uh, Christopher Spencer. I'm the AD for marketing here. And if you're tuning in, let us know where you're from so we can say hello. We're going to be checking out Humphreys today. And uh, yeah, please join us for the tour. Um, you said you've, you've worked at Humphreys before? Uh, yeah. Like front desk front and stuff? Desk. Yeah, yeah, right on. So you kind of know the hall. Yeah, I hope yeah. so. What do we have in this area, Nathan? Uh, so behind us is going to be the dining hall 1021. Okay. Any good food there? I would say it's the best dining hall on campus. But there you go. Nathan endorses. Uh, next to us is going to be Kimball Hall. Uh -huh. And then to the right of Kimball Hall is going to be the Walton School Business. Very good. Very good. All right. Well, looks like we have a tour coming in, too. So why don't we head inside and get ahead of them? Okay. <laughs> Right, so you're heading inside. You want to show us your safety protocol here? Yeah, so this is a fob. Huh? Uh, the door's going to be locked 24-7 because of safety reasons. Yes. But you just scan your fob and it'll give you access to the room. Very good, very good. All right, we're inside Humphreys. And we'll go into, there's a nice mural, by the way. I don't know who drew this. You don't know, do you? No, I mean, there's a name Oh. down here. Shout out on to... Uh, can you read that? Peyton uh, F-O-W. Yes. Way to go. Good, good design there. <laughs> All right. So this is the lounge area. It's pretty spacious compared to the other ones on campus. Mm -hmm. We have a piano in the back and the TV. We have a, a foosball table mm -hmm. and we have two, we have one ping pong table and a pool table. Nice. So a ping pong table and a pool table. Pool or ping pong? What's your jam? I would say ping pong. Ping pong. Okay. Yeah. Do you bring it? You pretty good? I, I think I'm top notch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> top tier. Nice. Good job. All right. We're headed towards, I believe, the kitchen area. Mm -hmm. Let me give one shot of the larger area here. This is a huge, great room. And again, we're touring Humphreys. Let us know where you're from and... So we can say hello. Okay. So we have a water filling station uh -huh. to the left. So you can just hold your water bottle here and fill it up. Yes. Uh, to the right, or to the left, we have a kitchen uh -huh. here. Yeah. It has everything that you need, fridge. Got the basics, for sure. The way you stove. Refrigerator, a little table there, and yeah. So we were going to check out the, like, the front desk, or at least just, we don't have to key in, we can just kind of see it. Yeah. This is where you worked, right? Yeah, this is where I worked. <laughs> and there is someone there, what, most of the day, mm -hmm. uh, handle packages, lockouts, uh, like where they've forgotten their key, or anything like that. I uh, got a question from... Uh, Wood fan picks about is there an ice maker in the fridge? Do we know uh, that? Can we go check? There we go. Yeah, I, don't, I didn't. I didn't catch that initially, but good question. Let's find out. There is. There's always access to ice on the first floor of a residence hall. I can say that. Uh, whether it's in there or where, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, not there. It doesn't look like. But there is an ice maker somewhere. Let me follow downstairs, up. Downstairs, maybe. Yeah, let's go check and see downstairs. I bet that's probably where it is. But we were going to show also some of the community space over on this floor here, like down the hall and to the left. To the left? Yeah. Awesome. Uh-huh. We'll check on that for you. Humphreys, living the legacy since 1961. I, I have to point out that Humphrey, oh, you, do you want to talk about the mail? Oh, yeah. So here's your mail. So all these are going to be your room numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll get a code. So you can go get your uh, small letters, mm -hmm. small packages. Yes. Uh, Humphreys and Yoakum are very, very similar. And we'll point out this is the resident directors, also known as the CRE. They're in charge of the RAs mm -hmm. on each floor. Here's another lounge area. Do you mind open it up? We'll dip in there real quick yeah. show that study space. There's another tour going on right out there if you're looking. So this is one study space. 
on the first floor. Nice big table and whiteboard where all the great thoughts will be thought. <laughs> um, yes, Yoakum and Humphreys are very, very similar. They're both built around the same time and they're the most sort of traditional when it comes to maybe what you might consider to be a residence hall. Yeah, we call them our high rises. Oh yeah, this is kind of a community space too where they've created art. There's some art from some prior residents. And the whiteboard. Yep, another whiteboard right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even a little uh, little library waiting to be new books to be taken and new books to be left. A free lending library. Okay. I think we're headed uh, this way, right? To go downstairs. Yeah. because we're hunting for an ice machine. The uh, laundry that you're seeing there is from conferences that we've had this summer. We're about to get it washed. Uh, now you work with conferences. Um, what was one of the coolest things you did with conferences? Uh, Checkouts. Checkouts. <laughs> you're saying a lot by saying a little. All right, so now we're in the basement area, which we can show off the vending there. I have a feeling the ice machine might be in the laundry. We sometimes put them in there. Um, do you mind telling people how they can pay with these machines? Yeah, so uh, this is the first year that we're gonna be using Razor Bucks. Mm -hmm. So you just get your card and tap it. Yep, takes really much all the wireless pay systems that you wanna use. Uh, to our ride, we have the tel telephone booths. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, no telephones inside. Yes. A vestige of an older age. Um, and then recycling here, which you'll find recycling in almost all the halls. Uh, you'll find them in all halls, by the way, I should say. Is this another room? Classroom. Yeah, typically used as a classroom. Uh, the tables aren't arranged appropriately right now, but... Uh, typically a classroom, but then also they do programming here at night okay. sometimes. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of study space in this hall. All right, let's head up and go to the laundry. So what are you majoring in? I am majoring in business. Business. What kind of business? Uh, finance. Finance business, okay. Uh, so this is our laundry room. And there he is. There's the ice machine right there. Yeah. Yes. It's a pretty big laundry room uh, compared to the other dorms. So that's a big plus. Uh, this is the, we're going to start using Speed Queen this year. Mm -hmm. It is an app on your cell phone. So you're going to get two loads per week. And if you want like an additional load, uh, just a dollar for you to wash, a dollar for you to dry, so three dollars in total. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, two will, is enough for a week. Two per week throughout the whole semester are going to be preloaded on your account. And then if you need more than that during the semester, as Nathan was saying, uh, yeah, $1.50 per cycle. Uh, that is to say, $1.50 for a wash, $1.50 for a dry cycle. So $3 altogether. And if you run into any issues here, you can look at this little bit of signage there, and it'll tell you more. Um, yeah. All right, so I guess we can go see the rooms mm -hmm. and the bathrooms. Sure. We're going to go up on the floor now. We're going to go up to floor nine, top of the building. So if you're up in floor nine, if you have a ninth uh, floor room, let us know. We might be able to it's dip in for you. View it is campus. a good view. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so finance, what do you want to do with your finance degree? Uh, Whatever makes money. Okay, okay. That's, Not picky. that's refreshing. That's refreshing. Um, all right. Well, are you, and where are you from? Uh, Houston. Houston, Texas. Yeah. Okay. How'd you find out about the University of Arkansas? My dad went to Arkansas. Oh, okay. And his grandfather went to Arkansas. 
so on. Very cool. Very cool. Interestingly, my dad and my grandfather also went here. Mm -hmm. So, and my mother and some of my, uh, some of my uh, nieces and um, sorry, aunts, aunts went here as well too. And uncle. So, yeah. Like the best college. uh, Yeah, you're a fan of the University of Arkansas? Mm -hmm. Good. Wu Pig Sui, maybe? Yeah. Okay, nice. So we may lose contact here as we're in the elevator. Just hang with us as we go up nine flights of stairs, nine flights of elevator. How's the summer been for you? Too hot? Uh, or not I mean, too bad? I have to Houston. It's been uh, chill. Oh, yeah. What's Houston doing like over there? It's like 105 right now. Stop it. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's not as bad as uh, Death Valley. Well, no, it is not as bad as Death Valley, California. It's true. All right. Uh, steady space on the floor. Let's take yeah. a look at that. So every floor has this study space in Humphreys. Uh, some years we've had to use this as overflow space for students, but this year it looks like we're not going to be using it for that. So we use it for good. overflow in the summer. Mm-hmm. But we took it down. Yeah. Um, so it's a nice big study space. Great view. I'll just showcase some of the view here. Here. You can, yeah. There is Razorback Stadium right there. Very cool. You can get the access pass for like $100, so you can get all home games for football, basketball, and baseball for $100. And you're not even being paid by athletics. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the, the access pass is a really good deal for students, for sure. So check that out. Um, let's go check out a bathroom, and then check out a room, and give some measurements. Again, let us ready up your questions if you have any questions for us. We're happy to answer them for you. All right. And this right now is a women's floor. It's just down here on the left, I believe. Yeah, so there's a bathroom on each wing. Uh, we have two stalls behind you. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have, and then we have the showers. Uh, yeah, we'll head inside and let people see. You've got the hooks right there, always good. And the water is always hot. There's really good water pressure. Uh, yeah, you got a little bit of space there to put your soap and whatnot. Um, and are you, a, are you a fan of shower shoes? I mean, it's kind of like a necessity. <laughs> unless you want a weird stuff going on there. We don't want that. So, yes, definitely shower shoes are good. Uh, and super cheap, too. Like, don't need to flex with your shower shoes. Okay, we're headed into room uh, 925. Humphreys 925. Um, if this is your room, jackpot. Um, so, again, we have a really nice view to the right or left. You said you lived in Founders, and that's Founders right there, right? Yeah, that's Founders. Yeah. I have a view of the football stadium. I have a view of Kimball Hall. Okay. So, facing east. Yeah, facing east. Cool. Well, we're in the room, and we're ready to make any measurements that you need us to make. I see we have about 15 people tuning in, so let us know what you need. Um, Some things we might point out are that a lot of the furniture in here is is, uh, fixed. That is to say, it can't be moved. So this bookshelf wouldn't wouldn't be able to be moved, but you get a lot of space with that and a lot of uh, organization already. Do you mind opening up some of those drawers, Nathan? Yeah. Yeah, so plenty of drawers and very divided in terms of easy to divide between left and right or bed A and bed B. Um, Here is the closet space. Yeah, sure, Melissa, we can measure the the back of the bed in the closet. I'll get that in just one second. Okay. Yeah, in fact, we can get it right now. So back of the bed to the closet. Right. Right here, yeah. You may have to use your own hand to kind of 
or unless you can catch that on there. 58, oh. We want to go from here to here. Yeah, yeah, to right around there. 30 inches. 30 inches roughly, yeah. So there we go. And then Tiffany asked, what is the height for a curtain on the closet, like from a rod to the floor? So there is a rod. Let's point out that there is a rod already right there for clothing. But I think they're looking for um, if you wanted to cover the whole closet up. Okay. So, so I would go, because we're talking about putting a uh, tension rod up. Yeah. And let's get two measurements. Let's get like from here mm -hmm. to put a tension rod there and expose that and then all the way up at the top. So 46 inches across? Yeah, 46 inches across. Um, I think we were looking for not the width, but the height. the height. So put it like that and then down, yeah. But go all the way down to the floor. Okay. Yeah. 72 inches. So, um, so we were asking about the height. 72 inches from that top bar. If you were to put a tension rod there, it would be 72 inches to the floor. And then can you give us uh, the top to, right. yeah. 19 inches. 19 inches, but there's a lip there. So think about another uh, 14 inches probably, if you want to put a tension rod at the very top. So what was that, 72 plus 14? Mm -hmm. Something like that would be about right. Okay, let's see what other questions we got. Um, panel asks, can you measure the drawers on the desk and bureau width and depth and height, please? Okay. So we need the, the cubic volume. So it's 20 inches uh, yep. long, uh -huh. 12 inches wide. Okay. And then height? Height is about four or five inches. Maybe, yeah, maybe five inches is what I'm thinking. Yeah, and that's true for all of them except for the, the bottom set is a little bit, no, those, those top ones are, are less um, high, and then they, get, then they get uniform from that point forward. Can you tell us the height of that one? Yes. It says... Six inches. So six inches. So yeah, around four inches for those top ones maybe six inches for the others, but all the other dimensions would be accurate that we just gave. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going here. Oh, oh, and then these two, sure. Just like in... The desk and the bureau. So I think this is kind of the bureau. It's 22 inches okay. long. Okay, long. 31 inches wide. 31 inches wide. And the height is eight inches. Eight inches in terms of depth. And you might have a better, um, if you, you put that up against here and then push it down, you might get a little more accurate. Now it's nine inches. Nine inches still? Okay, great. So nine inches on that one. And then that covers those six that are down there, those six that are down there right there. And then let's get this, one of the top ones, because they're different. Thanks, Nathan. 14 inches long. 14. Mm -hmm. For a while. Uh, 22. 22. Okay. And then about four inches. About four inches height. So very similar to the uh, across the way. Okay, excellent. Let's see what else we got. Um, uh, let's ask, do people ever do tension rod for the curtains on the window or is it too big? Um, I would say generally people don't put a tension rod there because it is gigantic. The blinds are surprisingly... Uh, they're not blackout level, but they really will shut down the light pretty well. Um, we can give you the width, and you are more than welcome to look for a tension rod at that, at that width. Do you mind giving them a full width of the window? Because yeah. it's a great big window. I want to say it's like 100 inches or something. 127. 127 inches. So I don't even know if they make tension rods that big, but 127 inches. Okay. Uh, Tiffany says, have you ever seen somebody lift the bed all the way up and put a desk under the bed? Yes. yes absolutely. Yeah. That may even be the standard. I don't know how often you see it, but I I've mean, seen it a lot. I lift to my bed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as far as the dimensions for how high this one can go, I don't have access to my phone because I'm recording, but if you go to movein.uwork.edu under ready to arrive, which is one of the... the, the the tiles you can click on about midway down that ready to arrive page you'll find 
lofting mattress information, and it's done by haul. Generally speaking, you're looking at something like every three inches from maybe, these look like the, the big ones that go all the way to the top. The so they might be, so. they might be go up to 70. If I, like as low as three and as high as 70, I think these might be those, but check that website to make sure. Uh, Pamela asks, can you please measure the shelves above the desk? This being the desk. Inches. 40 inches that way. 12 inches. 12 inches in terms of height. Is that right? 12 inches in height? 12 inches in height. Okay. And then how about the depth from here? Depth. Mm -hmm. Eight inches. Eight inches. Thank you for the assist there, Tiffany. Yeah, it's every three inches from three inches to 71. I would not recommend setting it to three inches. That would be just like right on the ground. But you know, somewhere around that 50 inch to 70 inch is really, really nice. Um, uh, let's see, so we got that, that one right there. I think this one is a slightly different. Okay. Well, the height there is really as much as you want it to be. See if this is the same one, if you don't mind. The height would be the only difference, I think. Yeah, 10 inches. 10 inches, so right. you have a foot there. Yep, you have a foot there, and you have 10 inches there. So two inch difference. Two inch okay. difference. Okay, great. Um, and Melissa asks, can we go ahead to that site to request time to be lifted ahead of time? You absolutely can request that your bed be lofted ahead of time. You have to get it in by the end of the month, though. Um, just Google UARC, U-A-R-K, and fix it. F-I-X-I-T, and it'll lead you to the form where you can make the request. And as long as you get in by the end of the month, they should have it done for you in advance. Okay, and then we've got another question about, are you allowed to put a rug outside the door in the hallway? Ooh. Uh, when I lived in Founders, my friends had like little mats, welcome mats. Yeah. So. As I recall, um, the amount of decoration you can do outside your hall is kind of minimal, but you can do certain things. Uh, go to the handbook on the housing website and it kind of dictates what you can put out there. I do believe a welcome mat is allowed. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe even like a small plant. I think I've seen people put a small plant out there. I have seen that. Okay. All right. Don't get me to lying. All right. Um, can you measure the desk height to the first shelf? Twelve inches. Twelve inches. One foot right there. Okay. I'm gonna bring a plant. What's up? I'm gonna bring a plant. Nice. What kind of plant are you gonna get? What are you into? I don't know. I'm into low maintenance Maybe like plants. A Venus flytrap. Whoa, that's <laughs> hardcore. Okay. Why not? Um, I didn't know you could do that. Yes. Plants. Well, you can bring plants in that in your room for sure. Yeah. You can also have small fishes in your room. Really? Like a small fish. Yeah, you're allowed to have that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so any more questions for, for Nathan and myself as we're exploring Humphrey's, uh, a typical Humphrey's room, and all the Humphrey rooms really seem very, very similar. Um, they're, yeah, they're virtually the same. Okay, yeah, let's, let's count the number of plugs and where are they located? So we have two behind you, yeah. one here. One right there, one, two, we have two by the desk. Don't make anybody dizzy. Three and four. We have one by the window sill. And then one by the window sill here that would have to be probably shared. Okay, so that is 10 plugs, five, five outlets, 10 That's plugs. Two. Yeah. Um, height of the counter at the mirror. So okay. how high are we from uh, it's actually the, how high is this counter from this to the floor? Okay. Thirty-nine inches. Thirty-nine inches from the lip. Forty, 40 inches. Sorry, forty inches from the lip to the floor uh, for the counter. I mean, you can go ahead and give them the the um, the dimension of from the countertop to the ceiling. Well, I think it's 36 inches. Yeah. It's 36 inches. 36 inches. And then there's a little bit of a lip. Oh, do the lip. Yeah. 
says 34 inches. 34 inches? Okay, great. Um, is there anything on the back of the door? Let's go look. There's a tile rack. A double tile rack. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be used for sure. So what year are you? Uh, I'm going to be a junior. Going to be a junior. Yeah. So almost halfway done. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You've had a good time here, right? Yeah. 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 So you don't want it to be over no, no. Um, if you were talking to you two years ago when you first arrived from Houston, mm -hmm. did you know a lot of people? No. No? I had 40 kids in my grade, so I didn't know anybody ah. to Arkansas. Yeah. So, oh, okay, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So um, what, uh, what did you, um, how did you, uh, how did you make some friends here? Well, I was in the business LLC, so I made friends that way because we all had the same classes, so we would all sit next to each other. Yeah, uh, that's a good experience. Yeah, I also did some clubs, like I did this accounting club. Mm -hmm. uh, I did this chess club. Yeah. Uh, but no, just leave your door open and just uh, be friendly and you make friends. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's a pretty good recipe. Yeah, yeah, I think people naturally want to talk to you when you leave your door open. Um, Catherine asks the height from the top of the closet to the bottom of the closet. Okay. So can we get, are you tall enough to get from that lip up there could, at the uh, very top? You could go from the bottom to the top. Yeah, or you could do it that way too. Yeah, either way. I don't think I'm that tall. Yeah, that's a... Uh, 88. 88. And I think 80. there's about one inch of lip there, so... Maybe if I go... Okay. Oh, that's the that's the ceiling ceiling. Ninety two inches. Ninety two inches to the ceiling, uh, to the top of the closet, uh, probably eighty seven inches. The entire room is ninety six inches. Okay. So, all right. Ninety six to ninety two. Um, Pamela asked depth of the closet, depth of closet shelves. So let's get the depth of the closet first, which is against there to the back. Twenty six inches. Twenty six inches. And the depth of the closet shelves, because they pull about, I don't know, five, four or five inches off. So, 16 inches. 16 on the mid, and then can you do the top? Maybe. I think if you just tap it and then hold it in place, one more time it'll go. Do you give it to you? Let me try one more time. Gotta be quicker than that. Well, if you, you, can, you should be able to look backwards at 20 on that, on that top one. Thank you, Nathan. Um, Tobias, can you measure the top shelf in the closet? Okay, we just measured. We got the top shelf, 20 depth, and then width, I think we've already measured. Height is gonna be somewhere around. Um, yeah. Well, but just from the top shelf okay. to the top? Yeah. Do that, it's 19 inches. 19 inches with about a two, two or three foot lip. Then if you include inch. the lip. Seventeen. Seventeen. So yeah, a two-inch lip on that. Okay. All right. Well, great. Well, wonderful questions. Thank you for that. Um, let's see if we've uh, got anything else. We'll give everybody just another minute or two to ask any more questions that they'd like. I got you. I got light right behind you. I'll move you right here if you don't mind. Perfect. Okay. Well, as you said, doors open and welcome to a new year. Um, any other thoughts? Uh, work hard, play hard. Mm. Good one, good one. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you so much for tuning in for our tour of Humphreys Hall. And uh, Nathan, you mind? Uh, oh, oh, I want to mention one other thing. If you do want to explore the hall a little bit deeper, you can go to the hall page for Humphreys on the move-in website. And... About midway down the page under explore you'll find a 3d representation or a 3d visualization you can move through the hall or move through the room and in the bottom left hand corner there's a what looks a little bit like a ruler and you can measure yourself um, some of the spaces in there through that um, 3d model that we've put up on the website one final measurement we'll take from Catherine the window ledge to the top of the window
inches. 59 inches. Okay, 59 inches right there. You want to uh, you want to wave us out? Yeah. Um, all right. See y'all in a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Uh,